Mabuhay. Mabuhay means oy. Is that right in Portuguese? O otaji. Is that botaji? Okay. Is that right? Well, uh, I'm a little nervous, but uh, I would like to thank uh, Rodrigo for having us here. Uh, we really much uh, appreciate the hospitality given by the Brazilian people, especially the Brazilian girls. <laughs> oh, before that, uh, there's just one uh, people from the audience asking me, what is my real name? Uh, is that really Numero? Actually, my real name is Numero Lim. My nickname is Uno. I didn't do it dos, I didn't do it tres, I did it numero uno. So my, uh, so I'll be numero uno when it comes to Zero Waste Manila. I may look like 40 years old, but I'm only 30 years old. Because of the problems arising, this national law we have in Manila, and I'm happy to say that in Manila, we are very much uh, uh, tied up with uh, different organizations, church groups, school organizations, local government units, and especially uh, every individual is welcome to have a Zero Waste Manila. Because of this national law, we have to follow. So even, even a single or regular citizen could sue us if we will not do our job. Okay? I'll be discussing zero waste through education and training in Manila. This is what, this is what we are doing in Manila right now. Uh, okay, uh, I'll just give you the background of Manila. Uh, we have 18 million Filipinos. 18 million Filipinos is consists of 17 cities in Manila, which I'm the vice president of young legislators in the Philippines. So I'm much concerned of the, the people in NCR. This is the national capital region. I'm the incumbent councillor. This is my second term as a councillor council, in Manila, Filipinas. Uh, every Filipino generates one half kilo of waste every day. And total waste generation in Metro Manila is about uh, 2.5 million metric tons per year and we really, do, we really do not want this kind of waste in our uh, dump site or in our landfills. So instead of uh, uh, we have this pera uh, basura or money from waste, we really do not want that. Uh, the sad part is instead of building schools, providing medicine for the poor and bulk of the taxpayers money literally gets down the dumps. And now, that is a lot of waste. After this, what we do in the local government unit, coinciding with the national law, we have this kind of legislation uh, pro promoting in Manila. Then what does, uh, I'll be discussing what does the local government do to help promote zero waste, and how do we educate and train people to have a mindset of zero waste Filipinas. We are doing seminars on recycling and proper waste disposal through local level legislation promoting zero waste and providing livelihood training on earning from waste and recycling. I'm happy to say the people, uh, I have the power in the city council to do environmental legislation because I'm the chairman of environmental uh, committee on environmental protection and ecology in Manila. So I have all the power to do whatever environmental legislation I want to do for the city of Manila. Well, uh, seminars on recycling and proper waste disposal. These are the seminars we are doing. We know that barangay is the smallest form of government in Manila. Barangay uh, is a small community uh, consisted of three streets. It is, it is already considered as one barangay in Manila. And we all have 897 barangays in Manila, and I'm a, I'm a councillor of 122 barangays in Manila, which compose of about uh, 1 million. I'm a councillor of 1 million Filipinos in Manila. 
In schools, we do also uh, seminars in schools. We also do a, uh, uh, this is an uh, organization. We tap the senior citizen organization, the ones that are young at heart, the senior citizen ones, the, the youth organization especially. This is a common model uh, we have in Manila that I see to it that uh, I have this uh, seminar every week with the schools. This is what uh, we're, we're doing. I knew that uh, Rick experienced this in Manila. We almost have a thousand students. Uh, I'm doing this uh, regularly every week. I see to it that I can talk to them, 1,000 students, uh, 200, uh, 200 uh, senior citizens, uh, 500 uh, youth organization every week. I see to it that they, uh, they have their zero waste programs, campaigns, and projects for their community. This is a common tool. Uh, we usually have this seminar also. Cooking oil to melt these uh, thin sando bags uh, and able to convert that to flower pots and food walks. And we Filipinos are very fashionable. So we just not uh, recycle. Uh, we just not uh, recycle it into uh, good ones. Uh, this uh, these dolls are like uh, we see to that it is almost similar to Barbie dolls. <laughs> okay, managing and selling waste is not just about the money. It is also about the environment. When we segregate waste, place them in material recovery facility. Material recovery facility is very much important in our country because every community has their own MRF, or recycle them into functional pieces, not only we are earning money, but we are talking part, taking part in the global campaign to save our environment. You, uh, what can I say is that you don't have to be a politician, you don't have to be a political leader, someone has to stand for it, someone has to fight for it, it's just that thinking, and if you want to dedicate your heart to it, definitely you will achieve and attain a zero waste goal. Everyone is a leader. You don't have a political leader. You don't have to be a mayor. You are part of Zero Waste Brazil. You can be a leader in your household. Thank you very much. Obrigado.